Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This you see blessings and um, you're welcome to Uplifted the beautiful YouTube channel that is all about uplifting you, talking about things around fit, emotional wellness, personal development, and of course, everything that uplifts you. So you're in the right channel. I want you to stay tuned to the end. I'll be talking about a very important topic to me and to you, of course, for you to have come in. I'm so happy. And today we'll be talking about soul healing. Soul healing. How do we heal our emotions? And I'm going to be taking scriptures from the word of God. The word of life. The word of life. The Bible says, Oh my soul, do not be removed. Have you not heard that has been told from the beginning that the Lord your God is on your side? And forever, whatever may be coming, may be happening to you. Wait, you need to remember, you need to acknowledge that the Lord your God is on your side. The Lord your God is there to help you and to help coming your way. And so let me just kick off with this particular scripture. Number one, and let me say that this scripture is something I have been meditating on for some days now. And it says, Come unto me, all ye that level and are heavenly heading, and I will give you rest. Who will give you rest? God. God has promised rest for your souls. God has promised peace for your soul. God has promised all these things so that you will no longer be troubled. You will no longer be depressed. You will no longer feel alone. You will no longer feel like there is something wrong with you. But you know that God, God is on your side. God will see you through whatever your challenges may be. I'm going to also look at the number two scriptures today in, in um, John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give it as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This means that we have the capacity to either let our heart be troubled or not. We can actually say, no, this will not, um, I won't allow myself to be troubled by this thing, or we can yield to that thing and begin to trouble ourselves. Let not your heart be troubled. Because God has wished you good things. God has planned good things for you. God says, all my thoughts, all my plans for you are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. As expected, and there's something you're supposed to accomplish. There's a place you're supposed to get to. But God will give it to you if you can. Count on Him. If you can hold on on uh, the peace that God has given us is available. God is ready to bring it to us. God is ready to take care of us. God is ready to make sure that things are okay for us. Praise the Lord. Another scripture we'll look at, the fourth one is Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. What again is it that you have been through? God is close to you. God wants to save you. Are you crushed in the spirit? I've had an experience when I I could just look at my life as shattered. You know, I had several disappointments from people I expected to stand up for me and all of that. And I felt crushed. The place they held in my heart felt um felt um, open you know the gap was there and uh, this is exactly what i experienced and the promise of god concerning people that are like this is that god will save you god will save you out of that situation god will bring you out of it out of the mess and the things that want to keep you down 
But again, the power is in your hand. Most times, the power is in your hand. God wants to help you, but you need to allow Him to help you. Allow Him to guide you. Allow Him to be you. Hallelujah. For my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. That's the, the next scripture we're looking at. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. And God is saying that you're not capable. God says, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. My grace is enough. So that's what it is. For you to see that situation. Don't forget God. Don't forget God that you now say, ah, I can't for you. And I'm acting on me. This thing is so messy. I can't pray. I can't do this. I can't do that. I need God to come through. You, you can't you want to be able to say that I need God to come through. You can't even ask God to save you. You know, the person talks. But the Bible says, the thing is, when you're feeling troubled and you're broken hearted, you've had disappointment or one thing or the other. Remember 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 that the word of God says, God's grace is sufficient for you and my perfect is made, my power is made perfect in weakness. Remember the scriptures also said and promised that that our confession should be I am strong. Okay? Let the weak say what? I am strong. I'm strong in this sickness. I'm strong in this mess. I'm strong in this depression. I'm strong in this disappointment. I know that God will come true for, for me. So, God's grace is sufficient for me. Praise the Lord. And then, look at Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God has promised supply. God has promised provision for you. God has promised uh, kindness to you. God has promised restoration to you. See, everything you need to put your mind in peace, to gather your soul together. That's the promise of God in uh, Philippians 4, 19. And my God shall supply all my needs that is according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God will supply it. Amen. God will supply it. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Then I'm going to look at also Isaiah 43, verse 18. And even though it may be difficult for you to do this thing that is in Isaiah 43, verse 18, you are going to do it because you are obeying the word of the Lord. And it says, forget the formal things. Forget the past. In the present past. The person that... The person that... That taught you... The person that uh, we you go forget the word, the past. And I, a song just came into my mind. Remember not the former things, nor consider things of old. A new thing now is what do you not receive it? I will make a way in the desert. I will make a way in the desert. I will make a way in the Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Blessing and um, you're welcome to Uplifting The beautiful YouTube channel that is to make you uplifting you. Talking about things around faith, emotional wellness, personal development, and of course, everything that uplifts you so you're in the right channel i want you to stay tuned to the end i'll be talking about a very important topic 
to me and to you, of course, for you to have come in. I'm so happy. And today we'll be talking about soul healing. Soul healing, how do we heal our emotions? And I'm going to be taking scriptures from the word of God. The word of life. The word of life. The Bible says, oh my soul, do not be removed. Have you not heard?